ship hunting again and I found an excellent ship for you. Uh, I'm actually at the station now. I'm going to do the ship hunting a bit differently this time round. I'm not going to have a nice fancy music and a showcase flying around. I think it's best to get to all the tech bits and stuff like that and show you what it's like basic. And then I'm going to put a load of S-Class upgrades on it and then show you it after, like a stage two. So what I'll do is I'll show you the stage one now uh, without any music or anything. And then I will show you around the ship the detailed outsides. And then I'm going to show you the statistics as it is as a basic ship. And then what I'll do is I'll totally mod it up and upgrade it to the max and then show you the portal glyphs. I think that's a fantastic idea. Or I might just quickly show you the portal glyphs now in the bottom corner. So, yeah, I'll do that. So what I'll do is I'll move myself around so you don't see the ship. And I'll put it down here. So if I go into camera mode and then I put it to night time to make it a bit darker for everybody. And if you look in the bottom left hand corner, you'll see the portal glyphs. Can you see them there? I'm not going to put them big on screen because I'm just going to be testing this as a concept. But I'm going to show you the ship now and we're going to have a quick look at it and then I'll pause and go to another video which will show you when it's fully upgraded and it'll be absolutely fantastic. I'm going to do it this way because it's better than showing the fancy showcase around the ship, I think. And this is how I'll do the the, the mods from now on. Sorry, my controller's going a bit funny. It's got a mind of its own today and it's a brand new one as well. Crazy. Okay, so this review is being done on the PlayStation 4 and this is in Euclid this location so you saw the portal glyphs in Euclid take a screenshot if you want the ship come here it's basically loads of them spawn and I'll show you the ship now so I'm gonna go down the ship is a hot rod now I'm gonna get the Sun in so you can see it properly and it's actually quite a nice one it's one of those wide wing ones so I had a good look at this but I think it's like a it's like a green white and red color I'll see if I can get the lighting a little bit better. So if I get it down there, you might be able to see the colors a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly around in great detail and look at the ship from the outside. And then I'll fully upgrade it, totally upgrade it, and show you what it's like with all the S-Class mods on. And then you decide if you want to grab it or not. So here we go. So we've got not on the back wings, and it's those big wide wings which are actually quite cool aren't they and it's got a hint of like a, a cream creamy white with an orange outline and a green inner which actually looks quite cool doesn't it it's got one of those large fins on the back dorsal fin or rear fins and it's a single booster i'm not a fond lover of the dorsal fin ones but it is what it is it would, would have looked amazing if it didn't have it on but that's my opinion not that noticeable any decals actually on other than the outline in orange which is on that bit there on the back wing the uh i don't see any numbers on it as such um they usually got numbers on these things but this one hasn't so whether that's actually classed as a rarity sometimes they have them lightly printed on these side wing things here but it doesn't seem to show you it on this one but it is a nice color scheme i think it looks really good I guess it has. It's got the little arrows pointing the other direction on the front and some kind of little text above it, some alien text. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. I think it looks pretty mean, actually. And yeah, it's um, it doesn't look that worn. There's no battle damage on it and it looks quite clean. So yeah, it's a fantastic little ship, that, isn't it? So we'll go for a further out view of it. And... It's, it's what you would expect for that class, but a lot of people like the wide-winged versions, which which isn't bad, and it's pretty cool. So let's have a look on the underbelly of it and underneath and see what it looks like under there, as you would expect the hot rod type. Now, we've got some decals down there, which are some arrows facing in, which are, which are yellow. There's nothing under the wings other than the, the beefy weapon underneath and basically everything's very similar so it is an orange color there and it does actually look quite nice like i said before it's a single booster it's got orange rings on the back and towards the middle like a green type uh 
like stripes or rings around the inner part so ah it's actually the booster part which is orange isn't it and the rings are green okay and the the outer side is like a gray color yeah that's okay actually isn't it and now the the side wings or the or the defenders or whatever they are there's a a tiny little hook on the back as you can see green with vents and the odd screws and stuff got a bit of wear and tear on the side but it looks all right doesn't it it looks uh it looks sticking right at the end with a with a with a light it's got two needles there i wouldn't like to be in front of them things would you when it land landed that wouldn't be good would it and it's got the usual hollowed out bit there and yes it looks really nice so let's have a look at this engine then the engine is the typical dragster style now you you know why they call it a dragster because it looks like a dragster doesn't it or a, or a hot rod not a dragster hot rod what am i talking about like a hot rod car with the big engine sticking out the bonnet that's what that's the reason why they call them then with the with the vent on the front or on the top i think it's the turbo vent isn't it that's what that is so basically yeah it looks really nice and it's got these tiny little orange side little wings that are sticking out the front as well which makes it look pretty cool and yes it is a really detailed ship if you look down there there's, there's a set of lights underneath which I've, i haven't seen very i haven't seen before on this model so that looks unusual doesn't it now we'll go to the back fin the back fin yeah it's okay it's all orange and it's got a green tip on it with a rear tip facing out of the back which is actually quite nice excuse me guys if i don't come out with all the jargon that most people do but I, I don't really say them to be honest and yeah it actually looks a really nice ship it does actually look a nice ship and it's it looks uh looks mean doesn't it so i'm gonna go back into normal view now so we're gonna have a look at the specs of this thing shall we so i'll grab the specs on it and we'll we'll see what it looks like so obviously i've dumped my rubbish in there i'll take that out because we're going to need to know what this like is like and i put that in there so we've got 139.6 on damage on this one i'm not going to be putting any any weapons on it it's only going to be shields hyperdrive and move maneuverability the basic things because not many not many people i mean some people will want it for battle some people won't so it currently bought it on a b class but i'll make it an s class and i'll do that on the next one so it looks all right doesn't it so the maneuverability is quite high but trust me guys i'm going to get that really really high so we'll uh, we'll have a look at that when it's done and all this will be totally different as well there's no special things on we've got uh, an s class uh, shield on it but they're all around about plus 30 anyway unless you get an x an x class which is 32 or something so let's have a look in the uh, the installable modules now shall we see what we've got so we've got an s on sub we've got s on ignium drive but mainly that that ig indium drive so i keep saying that wrong that's normally what that is uh they seem okay i guess they're all about the same aren't they as usual they're all around so yep okay so what i'll do is i'll jump out of here and i'll fly away and you can see all the ships flying around that's a what do you call it that's a an archive over there and if you notice to do fly around like that so if there's any ships flying around there that you like the look of you can come here and get them so pretty cool that isn't it so i'm going to jump off here and i'll see you on the next clip where we uh where i'm going to up fully when i've fully upgraded it and then uh, you can judge for yourself if you want to come here and grab one so well, there we go i'll see you in a second guys i'm back now then fully upgraded absolutely chocked up to the to the brim is this thing <laughs> i didn't even I'll, i filled up every single slot with everything that i could cram into this thing totally maxed it out it took ages to do but i've got it all i've got it all tooled up for you guys just to see what it's like and then i'll take it for a spin and show you what it's like so here we go this is it here this is what the total is what i've got it to <laughs> absolutely rammed full of absolutely everything so look at that i actually put weapons in it so i just wondered what weapons 506.3 oh my god shield strength is mm, that's okay but it's a quick ship so it's not gonna 
uh, you know, it's not going to wait around for anybody to shoot at it. Hyperdrive range, about average, 1,548.5. And maneuverability is 826.6. So now, and it's S-Class, and it's all unlocked. So if you want to have a look, take a screenshot of how I've done it. Just like that. So and then I put a green trail on the end, so it, it's green because it's kind of got green in it, hasn't it? So wonderful. So what we'll do is take it for a spin and I'll do a screen. I'll take it up in space so you can see different shots of it. And uh, yeah, brilliant. So let's take off and watch how quickly this thing flies around. So it's got its green trail. It does a quick bank, a quick turn. Look at this. Look at the speed of this thing. Oh, can I even see the back trail of it? Look at this. Goes really quick, doesn't it? Look how fast this thing is. Oh, yeah. Absolutely brilliant. So this thing is absolutely tooled up. So let's try some weapons out. So first of all, photon cannon, absolutely maxed out. So you can shoot forever with this. And then positron. Shoot forever. Infa knife. It's going so quick, it's not even showing up on the screen. You see? It's crazy. So, and then this one. That's not so good, but it's okay. And you got your rockets. And then you got your phase beam. Now the phase beam goes on forever. Absolutely forever. So this thing is absolutely maxed out. So, absolutely brilliant. Look at this thing here. Absolutely amazing. So... I'm going to stick it into camera mode and you can have a quick look at some light, shall we? So, <coughs> excuse me. So let's get it here and so here we go. So I'm going to get the light on it at the front and we can have a quick look. So this is it, guys. Absolutely fantastic. Better than a box on there, so that's brilliant. That's what it looks like on the side. Absolute beast. Absolute beast. So we're... Uh, yeah, if you like this ship and you want to get it, the glyphs are at the beginning and uh, absolutely fantastic. Now, fully maxed, this thing is phenomenally good. Really powerful. Really, really powerful. And it, it actually looks amazing, doesn't it? So, there we go, guys. I'm in space. So, <laughs> so I'll just get a good view on it there like that. So, there you go. That's the ship. And it is called Emoda's Floating Regret and it definitely will be somebody's regret if they come against this thing so uh, yeah if you want this ship by all means go and find it this is what you can do to it this is its max out stats if you want me to do the ship hunts and do them like this where I fully max them up to show you what they like then stick it in the comments if you want this I'll do it like this in future so there we go, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching the video, and I will see you, how do I say it, in the next one. Bye.